the species at risk of disappearing forever in the Canada lynx. These big cats once prowled throughout the northern counties of Washington, but now fewer than 50 of them are left across our state, and there will need to be some changes for them to survive. Earlier this year, Fox 13 took our viewers high into the North Cascades to see research that could save the lynx firsthand. And just this month, a new national plan has been rolled out to save the species. Fox 13's Matthew Smith has seen the research firsthand. So, Matt, this seems to be a critical moment for a fascinating species. Oh, absolutely. Lynx are a pretty fascinating species. Rarely seen in the wild, but the fear is they'll be gone forever if work isn't done and soon. After years of waiting, the U.S. government rolled out a $31 million recovery plan in hopes that the Canada lynx doesn't go the way of hundreds of animals before it. That's the sound of a snowmobile on fresh snow up in the North Cascades. Earlier this year, Fox 13 went deep into the Okanagan National Forest with the crew from Home Range, spending hours whizzing by what looked like, well, ghost forests. But Canada lynx, which you can see here captured on a trail camera, they rely on that exact same forested area. Now, this map shows their critical habitat in green. The red, that's what burned between the early 70s and 99. This is what burned the next 20 years. To stop megafires from wiping out the land that lynx rely on, the thought is you need to introduce smaller fires. Firing heavy. Or prescribed burns, like this one we saw near Clee Elum earlier this year. Our forest lands need help. On top of climate change, we're dealing with decades of fire suppression that actually led to fuels that are now ready to burn. Fires in the forest are natural, but megafires are our own doing. But to tackle the fire issue, to reintroduce fire, you need to know you won't harm the remaining lynx. So tracing tracks like these and understanding where lynx travel is important. It feels urgent as well. But they're not just looking for tracks, they're trapping lynx and putting radio collars on them before they release them like you see here. Now, once that collar is on a lynx, they can get data like this. You're actually looking at a single lynx's travel near Winthrop back on April 3rd. We've had almost a full year of data from some of these lynx, and we can see the full picture of what they're doing. A neat thing that we can see is that there are lynx that are making their entire living within a burned area, a regenerating burned area, I should say. And um, that's a good sign for the lynx on this landscape, um, that they're able to start recolonizing that, that burn. And data like that will be key. While Home Range doesn't comment on government recovery plans, the latest plan that's been published shows why Home Range's work is so important. They write, agencies may need to address fuels and fire management strategy that incorporates lynx habitat needs in the face of a warming, drying climate. If we just keep having these huge mega fires, boom, 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 and, and our, our lynx habitat becomes wall-to-wall, -wall, fresh burn, then we run out of having enough habitat to support our already very small lynx population. So the government's new recovery plan is now available for review. I've actually linked back to it at fox13seattle.com. There you'll also see our past coverage on lynx, including our close encounter with a bobcat, which may have actually gotten our hopes up for a second when we thought it was a lynx. In the newsroom, Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.